Joining me now for some insight into the law enforcement effort tonight is Professor Keith Taylor, adjunct assistant professor at John Jay College, former NYPD Emergency Services Unit Supervisor. Professor Taylor, let's start with what you can tell us about how law enforcement approaches a situation like this, notwithstanding that he, you know, seems to have a military background, but just the approach to begin with. Well, uh, traditionally, law enforcement would uh, try to uh, create a perimeter around where they believe the uh, shooter is uh, shooting people. Now they are trained to go directly to the threat and to address the threat, stop the killing. Uh, and, and so because this individual has the advantage of, uh, of traveling, presumably by vehicle, from location to location, uh, is trained by the military on how to use uh, weapons of war and is uncontained currently, this is a very difficult situation for law enforcement uh, to coordinate their efforts, their resources, and try and triangulate where this individual is so they can stop them from causing further carnage and chaos. I mean, talk about that. A trained firearms instructor at nighttime, military background, and it's extremely difficult, I'd imagine. Indeed. Uh, this individual, uh, given that uh, we don't know why this person is doing what he's doing, is a, is a tremendous threat to individuals, uh, innocents who uh, can... Uh, can unfortunately fall in the pathway of this of this uh, this this killer. And what do you make so, of the weapon we're looking at there, Dr. Taylor? High-powered weapon, uh, AR-15 type of rifle, uh, maybe even more powerful than that. We don't know yet. It could be uh, something that he obtained while uh, doing military service. Uh, that is something that will be, uh, once he is found out and once he is captured or, or stopped, uh, they will look into both the weaponry uh, and what led up to his ability to be able to use it uh, in this fashion. Okay. Well, thank you so much for the insight here tonight. Professor Keith Taylor from John Jay College here in the city. And do keep it here with CBS 2 News. We'll have the latest for you. Updates on the shooting as we get them on the air and online at cbsnewyork.com.